Does it say recording? Yep, go. Okay. Alright, it is currently 7.30 a.m. in a small town called Baldwin, Michigan, which is around central Michigan. Um, so it's 7.30 a.m., which is 6.30 a.m. in Illinois times. So this is probably the earliest I've woken up in a really long time. Uh, so the whole point is to go fishing today. We're going on the Pier Marquette River, which is one of the top three rivers in Michigan, and it's nationally known throughout the country. Um, we're going steelhead fishing, which are going to be about this big, on average 20 inches, so uh, it's going to be a pretty exciting trip. So what are you excited about for today, Dad? Because <laughs> I think we're going to do well. Well, the difference between regular fishing, so to speak, and fly fishing is tremendous. You know, regular fishing, as people think of it, is a, is a worm and a hook, and you basically drop it down and, and hope something bites. Fly fishing is nowhere near the same. Fly rods are going to be weighted from zero weight to up to a 13 weight, and it's backwards. Your zero, one, two, three, four, five rods are going to be smaller. Your six, seven, eight, nine, ten rods are going to be your heavier, larger weighted rods. So the weight is what's going to bring the flies down to the fish. And then we have about two feet in between each fly. So imagine you're the fish. This is how the, the, the rig's going to be coming at you, like this. And then you get to pick, like, either eating an egg or eating a snack. Generally, though, <laughs> your, your glow bugs here that you see, mm -hmm. these are most commonly used for steelhead. And they're just supposed to represent a, a, a small fishery. The river's full of all this food and the current takes it down and the fish are usually stationary in the current. So the objective is to drift your fly, make it look natural like it's something in the stream, either a, a nymph that's on the bottom, an egg that the fish has dropped. As you learn how to cast the rod, it's hard to explain as you learn how to cast the rod, it's engineered to generate that energy with the line. So the line is propelling itself off the with nothing pulling it. Hence, you can actually cast a weightless fly. Basically, what the objective of fly fishing is is fooling the fly the fish into eating a, a hand tied fly and not using bait but having a fly that resembles a fish on. <laughs> How does it feel to catch a fish, Dad? My arm is killing me. Got him. <laughs> It is exhausting, John. Uh, best part of the day was when I casted in first try, first um, cast of the day, caught a fish right off that. Then about 20 minutes later, my father catches the same exact fish. <laughs> I'm sure it's the same one? Yeah. <laughs> There's an expression that's you never fish the same river twice. So even day in and day out, I fish the Pier Marquette River. The weather's different, the water level's different, fish move, um, the insect stages are different. Um, so it's always it's different and it's, it's new every day and you learn something every day. And uh, it never really gets stale. It's always exciting. You're always looking to catch the bigger fish. Smallest yeah. fish in the day. That's like bait fish, like the trout. Yeah. Good job, Dad. The point of fly fishing is, is really just to be outside, you know, outside on the river and challenged by the whole system of understanding the river, its flows, what's working on the river, what type of fish you're fishing for, how to present the fly to the fish. There's an entire mystique around fly fishing that's, that's well deserved because it's not something you can just jump in and do on the first, first time. It takes years to learn. Everyone says, oh, don't turn your hobby into work, but in my case I tried it and I loved it. And I've been guiding now 10 years and love coming to work every day.